study patterns and structures. The verb to cipher, for example, comes from the Arabic cipher that translates to zero or empty. The figures 10 and the number zero in particular have Arab roots. Many Muslim scholars have built the foundations of the mathematical systems that have demonstrated the great usefulness of these figures. Almost every Muslim scientist has devoted a part of his time to mathematical research. After all, it was the way to provide insight and tools to move on to another scientific field. Al-Harizmi, for many this name will not ring a bell, is without a doubt one of the most prominent mathematicians in history. Al-Harizmi was an Arab mathematician who lived from about 780 till 850. His name refers to his birthplace, Harizm. Currently, it is known as Khiva, a city in Uzbekistan in the border of Turkmenistan. Sadly, only limited information is available about his social life. He worked in a house of wisdom which was founded in the city of Baghdad by the Muslim Caliph Al Mamun. His work mainly consisted of translating scientific manuscripts. Furthermore, Al-Harizmi primarily specialized in astronomy and mathematics. On the European continent, Al-Harizmi's name was assimilated to algorithm from which the name of algorithm was derived. Al-Harizmi's contributions to mathematics, geography, astronomy and cartography established the basis for innovation in algebra and trigonometry. Since these contributions are too numerous to cover them completely here, I am forced to refer in general terms to some of his most famous books. The most famous of his writings, however, is Hisab al-Jabbar wal-Mukabala. Al-Jabbar means restoration, and the West took this term as Al-Jabbar, from which the word algebra is derived. It is in fact the first book in algebra. In this book, Al-Harizmi demonstrated how to apply arithmetical methods in order to simplify everyday matters, such as inheritance, measuring of farmlands, trading, the digging of canals, geometrical calculations, and so on. Doing this, he soon came to what we call quadratic equations. Much of his book is devoted to solving such complex equations. The word al-jabr literally means the bringing together of broken bones, and is on its turn derived from the verb jabara, which means to reunit. The etymological meaning of algebra hence illustrates the underlying purpose of this field, namely the solution of linear and quadratic equations with only one unknown factor, and the solving of brackets observing the order of operations. The complicated part of his extensive book is that he defines everything with words while he hardly ever uses symbols for his variables, which makes his book very difficult to read for mathematicians nowadays.